Here we're going to be looking at reports and the different widgets we can set up in XPS. So from the report section, I'm going to create a new athlete report, select my team. If I click into the white grid here, the first option I have is chart. And we have three different chart types, column, bar and line. In this case, I'm going to set up a line chart with our 20 meter sprint value. So to find that, I'm going to go to tests. I'm going to locate 20 meter sprint by typing in here. I can also click to select from folders and search up above. I'm going to show the maximum and tick the team average box. So if I save and close this, I've now got a chart for the month of February, looking at all the different entries and values that were recorded and as well as the team average. I'm also going to set this up for long jump standing and compare them in a table. So now we have our chart set up, I'm going to move these down and create the second widget, which is a table. And we can call this testing results. And I'm going to have four columns, latest, average, minimum and maximum. I'm going to select 20 meter sprint and the long jump. And I'm also going to put a color rule in here, which says that if the 20 meter sprint is less than 305 seconds, make the background color green. And if it's between certain values, put the background as yellow. Now if I save and close this, and we open up the widget, just by grabbing the corner, you can see here that I'm looking at the maximum value and it's colored for every athlete depending on what their result is. And if we wanted to change this and make the color for the latest entry, I can always edit the widget and change the color rule to latest. There we go. So now I'm gonna leave this tab as testing results and we're gonna create another one called readiness. In our readiness tab, we're going to create the third option, which is combined test. And we're gonna call them readiness circle chart. Choose circle chart as the type. Pick readiness and have all of our sub tests ticked, which shows all of the different values that we have in our readiness testing. And when I save and close this, I now have all my readiness circles available. And I'm also gonna add in another combined test, but this time we'll choose radar chart, call it spider graph, and show the team average. There we go. And let's use this to make it look a bit bigger. Great. So now we've done charts, tables, and combined tests. The next option that we have is key values. So I'm going to create another tab here called attendance. And in the attendance tab, I'm going to create a key values widget. And we can give it a title called attendance. And in the data, go down and select attendance. We want total practices. I also want to have a look at the practice attended percentage, total workouts, and missed games due to being injured. And let's display this in two columns. Now we have our key values widget set up. So onto the next widget, let's go back to readiness. And below our graphs here, I'm going to create a new table with periodization. And we're gonna ignore rows without data and have a look at all of the entries for the month, looking at our readiness. And I'm gonna add in all of the subtests as well. Okay, now that we have those added in, I'm gonna add some linear coloring and I'm gonna choose the readiness value and depending on what the number is, choose green, yellow, and red. And just make sure that the value you want when it's lower is the correct color. And you can always change that around. I'm gonna do this for all of the values. 
and I'm also going to grab the text at the top here and if we scroll down we can remove the vertical header and also add in text values instead of the numbers so we can see the wording behind things like sleep, sleep quality and sleep time rather than just a number entry. So save and close this. We open up the widget. Now for every day in February, we have the entries from the athlete and we can flag any important entries such as lack of sleep time, stress, soreness, etc. Next up, we're going to be looking at the attendance log. So if we go back to our tab here and we create a new widget, choose attendance log. We can choose to include data from practices, games and events. We can choose for all teams and we can call this attendance log. And if you want to set a limit on how many values it displays, you can do so. We save and close this. Now we have an entry of all of the attendance statistics and comments made in the month of Feb. Moving on to the next widget, we're going to create another tab called Staff Feedback. And when we create a new information log, we can grab anything from our information collection, whether it's a questionnaire or feedback forms. In this case, it's a 12 week review. We call this Coach Feedback. Saving this, we have access to all of the answers. If there is individual or multiple entries. Next in our list is the acute chronic chart. So let's create another tab called training load. Selecting AC chart. You can play around with the thresholds for under training and over training. In this case, we'll just keep it by default. Save and close and we open that up we have all of the entries and we can track and see whether the athlete was over training and under training the final widget in the list is the body chart so let's create a tab here called body chart and creating this widget we can visually display the entries from the body chart as well as any information questionnaires that have been sent out so in this case we have describe your issue Save and close. We can see here the latest entry, which shows lots of pain in the right knee and a sore quadricep. Thanks for watching.